Now, at the moment, I think there's... It's just fair to say there's only one thing to talk about, isn't it? The energy price cap and the increase to the cost of living. While many households will receive help with the cost of energy, businesses won't. We spoke a lot over the pandemic about how the village pub had been affected. And uh, so many really, really struggling to recover from lockdown, loss of income, still had bills to pay and that sort of thing. But how are things looking for pubs now? Well, Steve Alton from Ashbourne is the chair of the British Institute of Innkeeping. Steve, a very good morning to you. Good morning, Donna. Um, long time no speak. Last time we spoke, you were doing amazing things for charity on a bike, um, which hopefully you've now um, recovered for. But I always feel we always speak to you um, and it's, it's never positive news because the cost of living as we all know is immense the price the energy price cap scares households more than a lot of things but households will get help but pubs possibly well there's been there's been no help tabled so far how have things been for pubs over the last few months steve yes well as you said um donna that there is no support particularly with energy costs and quite simply it's catastrophic for pubs um energy costs are just going to be a pub killer there's, there's no other way of putting it um as you said you know our pubs have come out of uh, heavy restriction and uh, closures during the pandemic many have built up debts to get themselves through and showed incredible resolve to get to this point and just as they start in their recovery in the summer even with wider inflationary pressures issues with staffing that we've had as well distribution issues lots of other things going on and then to be hit with the level of energy increase and to put it into context uh, just a few weeks ago the best deals that, that uh, our members could get is three times their previous level of energy bills so for a typical pub paying a thousand pounds a month in energy suddenly they're paying three thousand pounds a month in energy and this is a, for a business that is at best break even or, or making a, a small profit and that uh, that's moved on since so our members are now reporting back higher um, cost rises for um, energy and we're seeing up to five times the level they were paying before which clearly just makes these pubs unviable and by no fault of their own. 100% I mean even you know even if you're not a mathematician those numbers clearly don't stack up um, and the thing about pubs you know as we're going into winter there's a there's that cozy atmosphere people come in they expect it to be warm they expect the lights to be on they, they expect to be able to get hot food when when they want to well, Steve, what what can happen? I mean, pubs, even if you put, I don't know, 10p on a price of a, a pint, that's going to make no difference whatsoever, isn't it? I mean, how worried are your members? Well, they're hugely worried. I mean, even before um, we started to see this this huge escalation in energy costs, um, they were already having to trade probably 20% higher than they did before the pandemic, just to stand still with the overall costs that, that we're seeing. And as you say, look, these pubs are fantastic community venues bringing us together. They're already seeing um, some of their older generation coming in and, and you know being very deliberate on coming into the pub to spend their evening uh, because the alternative is is being at home and, and spending a huge amount of, of heat and light and power for themselves anyway so they can provide these amazing spaces but as you've just said yourself they, they can't weather this level of, of cost increase uh, they were determined to, you know they the, the pubs that have actually survived and we lost some pubs during the pandemic you know, it showed incredible innovation. They diversified their businesses with takeaways and all those great things they did as well. But right now, they're looking at the numbers. And whilst they would have dug in, because this recovery is going to take at least three, four, five years for many of them to pay those bills back and get back onto an even keel, uh, quite frankly, this just, just takes their legs out from under them and they're unable to, to have a, a viable business going forward. So we're looking for some support from government. We've been asking that for several months now. And be very very clear and it in its investment we're looking for this is not a handout this is about pubs you know keeping them going part of the economy you know pubs are part of hospitality uh, they've been contributing about 40 billion to the economy you know hospitality as a whole is over three million jobs before the pandemic but as importantly for pubs it's about that community and social value they add in every community of the uk the thing is, obviously, with the outgoing Prime Minister, we've got the leadership tussle taking place at the moment. We keep being told, households keep being told, there is help, it's on the way. Still no word as to what that's going to be. But pubs are in a much more precarious position because at the moment, the government haven't announced a penny, have they? 
No, absolutely. Look, we, we've we've got a a fifty percent business rates discount at the moment, but we now need clarity of that from first of April because right now it looks as if that's going back to its full level. As you said earlier, you know businesses are not subject to the energy cap, so we need to stop this this increase. And as importantly, they're going to need help. They're going to need grant support to pay the bills in the short term until this energy crisis moves away and we get back to some normal um, levels again. And equally, that there are other things the Chancellor has announced previously, which is lowering the rate of duty for beer that's served in pubs. And that was fantastic to hear, but it needs to be at a much higher level um, than, he, than he stated in his budget previously. So we've been very clear, the, the economy as a whole, the, we need consumers to keep coming out and spending confidently. So uh, VAT is a key part of that as well. So we've laid these uh, these uh, support measures out very clearly, made the case for them, because without them, these businesses go bust. Uh, they're a loss to, obviously, the individual's that were directly in them. But what about the local suppliers? What about the butchers and the bakers and the local brewers that are all dependent upon them? And ultimately, some of these pubs that will get boarded up, we will not see coming back into the community. And, and we'll lose something incredibly special uh, everywhere. And you know yourself around Derby, we've got some incredible places that are really the only place where we all come together and gather um, in our community. So not to have that would just be a, a, an absolute travesty. Well, Steve, thank you very much for taking time to talk to us again this morning. Always a pleasure to chat to you. Uh, Steve Alton there from Ashbourne, the chair of the British Institute of Inkeeping, um, just basically saying, you know, pubs need support. And really interestingly, Steve said there that um, some of the pubs now are already finding that maybe some of the older generation are, are going into in the evenings because they don't want to be at home if it starts to get chilly. So there we go. Um, always good to speak to Steve.